I made French toast today, um, and I undercooked it, but I ate it anyway. So, living life on the edge. Hey guys, so I didn't go to school today, and I'm not entirely sure why. I'm wearing a window now, so I can like see outside and everything, and there's no snow on the ground. And like, yeah, it's a little cold, but like, it's not we like have our classes outside. And I mean, I'm not against no school. I'm actually 100% for it. Um, I just don't understand why but there is a big storm coming so i thought that i would help you guys survive it because it would be a real tragedy if you died so i mean a lot of videos like this might have been like going over like the fact that you should have like a gallon per person of water like for maybe like three days and a bunch of canned food and like batteries and like radios that operate on batteries not electricity because you know electricity might run out and all that jazz but like <laughs> that's common sense so like i figured that like I would help you out a little bit so that you know the real stuff. Here we go. This first tip might seem like a little elementary, but it's to buy, buy, buy. And I mean, you go to Costco, you go to BJ's, Walmart, Shoppers, I don't care where, you buy. Um, so, prime example, at the moment we have 68 eggs yesterday my dad went shopping and he bought like all the good stuff you know like bottles of water he bought chips woo he bought some cereal some milk all this good stuff and then he proceeded to buy seven and a half dozen eggs keeping in mind we already had 68 what is seven and a half dozen it's a lot we have over 100 eggs in my house right now over 100 survival at its finest Tip number two is to apologize to whoever you may have offended or done something to, whether or not they know about it. Because I mean, like, if you're gonna die, you should die with a clean conscience. Like, I mean, like, would you really want to be sitting there in the afterlife, like, oh darn, I shouldn't have done that. I should have apologized forever. Like, that doesn't really sound fun. So, get your phone and call up the people who you may have done something to. Oh, hi. Um, yeah. So, like, the world might be ending in a few days. Okay, so like, yeah, a little storm, but like, we might all die. But like, okay, 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 okay. Before we start fighting, I just, I just wanted to apologize for pushing you down that hill in third grade. You know, when I like, shoved you down? Okay, so like, maybe you shoved me down, but like, let's, let's not fight. Hello? Oh, hi, Anne. So like, um... You don't really know this happened, but last year at your birthday party, um, I kind of slept with Chris. So, like, I just wanted to apologize for sleeping with your brother. Oh, this isn't Anne? Oh, hello, Mrs. Crenshaw. Uh, I didn't... <laughs> April Fool's, I didn't actually sleep with anybody. Hello? Hello? Tip number three is to do yourself up real nice. I mean, like, you might be about to die, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't look good while doing it. Because BuzzFeed makes, like, these weird videos like, oh my gosh, prehistoric hunks. Like, imagine the 50 years from now, you're a prehistoric hunk. All because of the fact that I told you to put on a little eyeliner and nail lacquer. <laughs> is that how the word's pronounced? Either way, if you're gonna leave the world, do it with a bang. Tip number four is to tell everyone how you feel about them. I mean, you guys aren't gonna be around each other anymore, so you may as well just like tell them like, hey, you over there, I don't like you. Just like let them know, let them know everything they've had stored up for years or months or maybe even just days because you're not gonna have to see them like ever again, so go for it. Oh, ha hey, I just wanted to let you know that like, remember when we went to the mall and you bought that like super expensive dress that I said looked good on you? Yeah, I kind of lied. It makes you look really fat. But like, I didn't tell you because I didn't want to hurt your feelings. But now you know, no hard feelings, right? Wait, where are you going? Wait. Wait, put that down. Don't, don't hurt me. Oh, hey, Anne. Me again. This, wait, this, this is Anne, right? Oh. Oh. Why would I be asking? Oh, nothing. Um, I just wanted to let you know, though, that, like, I don't really like you. Like, I know we've been best friends since, like, 
ever but i just kind of stopped liking you a while back but i stayed your friend because like you you have money and like you always buy me food and like i'm kind of more popular at school now because of you but since we're like all probably gonna die in this like three feet of snow i thought that like i should just let you know no hard feelings though bye that went really well the last tip i have to give you is just make sure you clear up any evidence to any crime that you may or may not have committed i mean like just 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 imagine if you died and like this happened our patient's about to die we need to operate fast Scapel, doctor, our patient, he was a killer. I found his ID. Give me that. Then what are we doing? We don't want to bring a convicted killer back to life. Ugh, let's get out of here. I hope you enjoyed that video and like now you're super smart so you can like survive any storm that comes your way and like I mean like yeah we're probably not gonna die so maybe like don't follow through with these tips because if you do you might want to just start running. I hope you enjoyed this video give it a big like I will try to update more frequently um I think I just said upload and update in the same word but like hope you wouldn't notice but then drew attention to it anyway so I'm just gonna go like find a life because I don't have one with me at the moment so um bye. Don't forget to subscribe for new content, okay?